Hello, welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend, a great week. Truck's back, past its MOT. Failed the first time round. James has got it all sorted out, which means we can clear the area around here and all the junk that we got lying around. And also, good news, I can get my cement mixer back to the house, which means that this coming weekend, I'm gonna start the well, continue with the well, and hopefully over the course of the next couple of weekends, I can get that completely finished. You'll be pleased to know. And I'm really looking forward to it, so I wanna tick that off. This house, we did spend the entire weekend here re-rendering the front and it is now complete. Unfortunately, with this horrible overcast weather, just spitty stuff that's been really hampering us, it doesn't look very pretty, but it is flat and it is ready to paint. So now I've just got to run around, touch up a few bits and pieces, that's all the good news. I don't think I've got any bad news other than I'm just not a fan of spitty rain. Oh, look, the sun's come out. Okay, I kind of forgot that the bit in the stairwell there after we did it the first time was looking all right. But then after we did this side and the sun came around, that was looking pretty bad. So I've gone over that whole wall again. And that means now I've just got to do the steps and fill in around here on the garage. And that is absolutely everything I'm pleased to report again. Then we're gonna wait a couple of days get some blue skies back here because it is due to get bluer in the next couple of days and get this whole lot completely painted yeah anyway i'm going to nip back home i need to go and get a mixer right the last bit Inevitably frustrating having to do all this, but getting that out of the way. Wow, brilliant. Oh, and the sun's out. Yeah, that looks so much better than when I showed you earlier in the video. It's all dried out now, much, much better. Got to deal with this. This is the very last section that I want to work on, on top here, and these three steps. set overnight now and come back because there was a dip in the middle where the water was puddling blue sky wow with all this drizzly rain everything has gone really green loving it what a complete contrast to the summertime seeing all that sprouting up very nice anyway it is a bit cloudy never safe to go back to the house during these weeks at the moment because it just never knows what it's going to do so i've decided instead of worrying about that house in the village and tempting fate we'll carry on in the next couple of days in the meantime i want to rejuggle stuff around the bus area from the kitchen put the kitchen on the outside before I do that though, I've got to go and get a few bits and pieces so I've got some storage. And I'm really looking forward to doing that.
Christmas music. It's November. What's going on? I definitely have a love hate with IKEA. I get quite excited walking around, but then halfway I get bored. I want to go home. There's so much to choose from, and some of it's pretty good. Of course, all the laminated stuff I want to try and steer well clear of because I want everything to be natural wood and obviously make my own stuff. But from time to time, especially with what I want in this temporary kitchen, is just quick fixes. So I'm always trying to find ways to make my life a little bit easier. And I do, of course, plan on putting an outdoor kitchen here at some point in the future, as I've already explained. Behind that bamboo, it's a mess, absolute mess. Dumping ground, basically. So in doing this, it's forced me not only to clear the area, because now what I have is a kitchen and a workspace. So I mean, a bit of an odd combination, but it's a good space, a good area to do that all in. But I have made a bit of a mess out here. Now I was doing it partly because, well, I want an outdoor kitchen anyway, eventually. This is just temporary, of course. But in this room here with a door on it as well, when I start work on the house, I can store stuff in there that I don't want to get too dirty. It will also keep all the dust away from it. And well, it's just an ideal spot for that. So I'm going to clear this area up now before I show you. And uh, hopefully in the next uh, 30 seconds, we'll have it all cleared. Right, one of the last things I want to do, because they're lying around, I had them in the bus, they're just getting a bit mouldy, so I don't want to trust it in the bus in case there's anything nasty on there. But I think they're perfect for out here, and it's just to, I guess, stop a little bit of that moisture coming through into the area, add a little bit of the breeze at this time of year, or it may not do anything, but I think it'll look quite good. Oh. Every time. I think that looks all right. I was only going to throw it away. It may not last very long, but I think it looks quite nice. Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> Zero water in that well. well, about two inches at the bottom of it, but I can see all nine rings. Considering we've had, what, three weeks of spitty rain, yes, but we have a couple of days where it's been uh, a little bit heavier, but it's been pretty consistent through that time. I was expecting it to at least be exactly where it was before it started to rain, but no, it's gone down. It's the same with all of the other watering holes as well, the barrages, the dams, the lakes, whatever you want to call them, they've all gone down a little bit. My one though, is still there, still got water in. Unfortunately, we missed that time with Philippe, the digger man, who was going to come and uh, dig down deeper to uh, make sure that at the end of the summertime there's still water in there, I guess. But um, yeah, we'll have to wait till next year. Anyway, that will fill up eventually, probably in February time when we get more heavy rain. But uh, yeah, <laughs> shame really. I was looking forward as I'm going to be starting that next week now, not this week. Um, it would have been nice to have had some water in there. Otherwise, I'm going to be finishing this all off and there'll be nothing down there. One of those things, eh? Anyway, moving forward, I am planning on trying to be as off-grid as possible, much as possible going forward. And water is one of those things, obviously. I know how much water I use because I'm using buckets all the time. It's a much less than it has been in the past and probably much less than most people. Um, so I don't need a huge amount, but it would be nice to know that it doesn't empty out. Anyway, I'm about to shoot off very soon because I need to talk to someone about solar. I've decided that I'm gonna go as much off grid as possible. And with the house, I didn't think it was ever gonna be at all possible because it's so expensive. Um, but I've been talking to someone, I'm gonna see how it works out, the figures and so on. And I think this area down here in the garden is a perfect spot because it gets sun all day to put the panels. And it's gonna be quite powerful. So the distance from the house to here isn't gonna affect it much if at all. 
but I'll let you know that in another video because I'm very excited about it. I guess I wasn't planning on doing it straight away, but given everything's going up in price, batteries of course are going to be going up in price. So I figured I might as well get it sorted out sooner rather than later, and then it will pay for itself a lot quicker um, in the future and I won't be a hundred years old. Anyway, that's for the future. Let's go and have a look at the bus and see, uh, around the bus, sorry, and see what that kitchen looks like. What more do you need? <laughs> it was so messy in here. I mean, it's got two purposes. We've got the kitchen area here, which is brilliant because now I have a much larger workspace. Keep everything on that side and I can be working on this side. Perfect. Got the plancher down there, the gas hob, two gas canisters, fridge, freezer, bigger workspace, as you said, the oven down there. Got my microwave, toaster, Few more bits to bring out but i think that's going to work really well of course on this side eventually this is where my kitchen outdoor kitchen is going to eventually run through into the house but now also using this door as well that i put up having a workspace area here is going to be absolutely spot on because i'm always trying to find counter space yeah very happy with that and of course now put the bamboo down here or whatever that stuff's called has made a big difference, just breaks it off a little bit. Now, when I do want to eat or cook and it is raining, I can just step out of the bus and walk straight into there. Very happy. <laughs> right, that's all sorted out. I'm gonna leave you on that note. It has been a short video, I know, but I didn't wanna put all the boring stuff I was doing during the week. And obviously with that rain affecting us, it's been a bit of a drag, but important thing is, number one, been to the hospital, got an appointment on the 6th of December. Really looking forward to that. Number two, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in America. Hope you had a great time. Number three, that house is now ready to paint. So on the 100th video, which will be next week, that house will be completely painted. And four, I have a drone now. So I'll be sending you over the house, give you a much better idea as to what that house looks like. And around here, I'll be going up and down the land so you can get a better perspective where the well is and the watering hole is. And hopefully it will just add a little bit of something to my videos going forward. But anyway, I'm starting tomorrow that painting and I'm gonna crack on with it and get it done. So I will see you in um, a week's time. Have a great week, have a great uh, weekend. Yum, yum. Had a salad butty. Perfect. Good I have that before I upload the video. See you next week.